Hello friend, in this cell script program I will be taking input from the user and those input I am going to store it in an array and then I am going to perform the sum of only the positive number as given by user. So let me run the program over here and then you see by yourself what I mean. Here is my statement enter number as you can see it's coming right from here enter numbers and I am giving a number like 1 sorry 1 and then minus 2, uh, 3, and then 4, minus 4. Let's go for minus 4. So the number which I've entered is 1, minus 2, 3, and minus 4. So I've given 4 items, 4 numbers, and out of which I'm going to go for the summation of only the positive numbers. So that means it would add 1 plus 3. That would give me the 4. So minus 2, minus 4 would be discarded. And the total number of items that are there in the array is 4. So this is what I mean. So let's go for another operation over here like suppose minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and I've just gone for suppose 2 and 6. Okay and let's go for another number over here suppose minus 7. So the only addition is going to be 8. Yes that was the thing is and the total number of item in the array is 6. So my program is working fantastic. So let me now explain what the program I'm doing. So the first thing is you have to use the declare keyword. Make sure you use hyphen A as a flag that will represent that you're declaring an array and I give the array name as array sum. That's what I have done in the very first statement. Now I want to read the input from the user because I this is a program where the user will be giving the input so not assigning any number beforehand and I want that the statement which is appearing over here right on that statement only the user is going to give the input like when I'm when I'm running over here see the cursor is appearing on the same line not in the next line so for that reason hyphen P I have given as a as a flag variable to take the input on the same line and whatever input I'm going to give like 1 space 2 space 3 all the input are going to be stored inside this particular array okay and thereafter as I hit the enter the control will come to the next line where is I've written a for loop and right in this particular segment uh, whatever input I have given in an array it will be uh, retrieved whatever input I have given in an array it will be retrieved now over here the point to be noted over here is why I'm starting with the dollar symbol because the array name is array sum okay and uh, you can say that the index uh, along with the curly uh, third bracket so we have got an add the red so this add the red represent that we want to uh, we want to show all the numbers okay but the question again come back is why do I use this dollar sign now this is one thing which you have to remember um, which is not actually applicable in majority of programming languages as far as cell script is concerned it is very important when you are retrieving value from a variable or an array I repeat when you are fetching the data out of the variable or an array you have to use a dollar symbol like over here see I was storing data in the array there is no dollar symbol because I'm storing it but over here I am now retrieving it I'm I'm extracting it out so when you're extracting it you have to give this particular dollar symbol so this dollar symbol has been extracting all the items from the array now I have gone for an enhanced loop over here so one item will be extracted at a time and it will be stored inside this particular variable see when I'm storing it I don't have any dollar over here now I'm inside the do and done and here I've gone for the decision making as I said that I will be calculating the sum of only the positive numbers so again see already the value goes through in the variable i and I don't have any dollar symbol but over here see now I'm extracting the value out of the variable i so I have to use a dollar symbol and I'm going for a greater than it should be greater than zero then only I will be going for the positive numbers so that's what my decision making statement is point to be noted over here is make sure you give a space after you've written the F followed by the third bracket otherwise this particular uh, it will not be considered as a syntax okay it will give you a syntactical error and then you go for a space right over here also inside the bra third bracket you have to give a space you can take it you can check it out if you're not giving the space you will get the error and then if the decision is true then you go inside the if statement and if block you start with the then keyword what you are supposed to do inside the decision making block you are going to perform the summation here see as we know that in self script the variables will be by default having a default value of 0 so the traditional C language or Java you have to give a value 0 for a variable you don't need to do over here you can write 
work on it so dollar zero see again you are extracting the value uh, dollar symbol that's the reason why we have used inside the uh, in the along with the if state uh, along with the uh, variable name so it is picking up the value from the variable which is zero same goes over here and whatever input I have stored over here that is getting picked up so along with this um, addition the resultant will be stored in the variable dot okay so that's how the dot statement gets generated and then you are out of the decision making block and here also the same thing 0 plus 1 you are fetching the value from the count uh, from the variable C so you have given the dollar symbol and the resultant you are storing in the variable C you don't need to give any dollar symbol so that's how the loop is going to iterate and all the items that you have given over here will be uh, executed and finally you are going to display the following couple of statement remember again you are retrieving the value from the variable you are using the dollar symbol for both the occasions okay so let me hit the enter now and oh, by the way let me go for another uh, negative number otherwise how do we get to know whether it's working fine or not and as I do that and you will find that 3 plus 2 is 5 5 plus 1 is 6 and over here the 6 is coming very smoothly and over here number of items four okay so that's all from this video presentation thank you very much